Good evening from the Channel's newsroom in London. Six people have been killed and more than 200 injured during violent clashes in Indonesia. Police say thugs provoked the riots, the bloodshed beginning after the presidential election results were announced. <laughs> Tensions are soaring in central Jakarta as demonstrators who support the opposition remain on the streets. <laughs> Indonesia plunged into civil unrest following the re-election of Joko Widodo. East challenger Prabowo Subianto alleges widespread cheating and foul play. Major roads and public transport systems have been shut. Access to social media limited. Kita tidak akan memberikan ruang untuk perusuh-perusuh yang akan merusak negara kita, akan merusak negara kesatuan Republik Indonesia. Peaceful protests turn violent overnight. Local media reported hundreds of injuries and several casualties. Authorities say they are not to blame, saying the riots were deliberately planned. Hundreds have been arrested. Their weapons are being kept in warehouses and they used shields and batons. This of course includes other equipment, but not firearms. Therefore, it's impossible for soldiers to murder civilians during protests. But these victims fell because of thugs, not protesters, thugs. Subianto has called for both sides to remain calm. We support the use of constitutional rights in a peaceful, non-violent way in the political struggle of our nation. The election oversight body and the election commission both deny that major fraud took place. The British Prime Minister's new Brexit plan is failing to win support, with the opposition saying the offer is still too weak. Changes to the withdrawal agreement bill will be published tomorrow and will be put to Parliament in early June. Theresa May has included a vote on a second referendum, if lawmakers approve her deal. To those MPs who want a second referendum to confirm the deal, I say you need a deal and therefore a withdrawal agreement bill to make it happen. Let it have its second reading and then make your case to Parliament. If Parliament passes the bill before the summer recess, the UK will leave the EU by the end of July. No Labour MP can vote for a deal on the promise of a Prime Minister who only has days left in her job. And even if the Prime Minister could honour her promises, the deal she is putting before us does not represent a genuine compromise. Her ten-point plan is riddled with contradiction and wishful thinking. A drug smuggling gang has been smashed in Europe. 22 people have been arrested across five countries, with Europol describing the operation as the largest of its kind. 40 houses were raided and 8 million euros in cash, diamonds, jewellery and luxury cars were recovered. The suspected ringleader, a 48-year-old Latvian, was caught in Spain. A large blast has rocked the Somali capital. A suicide bomber detonated explosives in a car just metres from the presidential palace, killing at least five people. It happened at a checkpoint near the tomb of the unknown soldier. Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab says it was behind the attack. Northwestern Syria has been hit by airstrikes. Images have emerged showing an area said to be Hama under fire. It was recorded on Monday. A second video was also uploaded by the Syria Civil Defense. White helmets are seen rescuing survivors and pulling bodies from the rubble of buildings destroyed in the town of Kafinabul. The number of casualties wasn't immediately clear. Two dangerous high-speed chasers have been caught on camera in California. The suspect continues to try. Oh, right there. A major TC. A stolen motorhome hit two cars while being pursued near Los Angeles. Oh, right there, another car. It ended when the vehicle hit a parked car. A man was later seen getting out of the passenger side before lying on the ground waiting for paramedics. Police arrested a female suspect who fled the scene on foot with her dog. And in Sacramento, a driver hit a number of cars while being chased and at one point was sent into a tailspin before the vehicle caught fire. He made a run for it but was eventually caught by police. And finally, a bright flare, believed to be a meteor, was seen streaking across the sky in South Australia. The fireball lit up an area over the city of Adelaide, generating a greenish hue before burning up with a dome of orange. The Astronomical Society says it was a piece of space dust about the size of a marble. And that's your international news around the world in five.